Everybody, welcome back to the channel Irish Eyes here today. So I'm in Rahetsbik Old Church and Graveyard on a very busy road here today. And just behind me you can see is the old church and graveyard. So it is kind of overgrown, but we'll do the best we can and uh, see what we can find. So this is the Church of Ireland old church and graveyard and it really does look spectacular so let's go in and have a look around now there is parts as you can see coming in to the graveyard that is accessible but then there is also an awful lot of overgrowth and it is abandoned but you can just see by looking at the graveyard how overgrown it is and Serenity Sue is with me today doing some exploring in this old graveyard now there's box tombs or chest tombs there as well so we'll go over and have a look at those but that's the church a fine church really nice now it is locked up but there's a big stone here as you come in and I'm going to try and read this and I hope I'm not in the shadow and it says in this cemetery lies the body of Cornelius Grogan of Johnstown Castle executed on Wexford Bridge the 28th of June 1798 for his part in the rebellion of that year are you still a footnote long blurred and unread another enigmatic conscript of ireland's glorious dead and that's pierstown murntown 1998 it says so that stone was erected and put there for Cornelius Grogan and he's buried in this graveyard and uh, it says he lies, the body of Cornelius lies in the graveyard here but I hope we can find the grave but as you can see it's going to be quite a difficult task with all that overgrowth so let's read a few of the headstones. And this lovely one here, and it says, In loving memory of Agnes Hunt, who died April the 19th, 1930, aged 71 years old. nice headstone design and flowers in it in loving memory of Thomas Fagan who died 1894 aged 77 years old also his son John who died June the 7th 1867 
aged 18 years old and his son Joseph who died August 1914 aged 39 years old also his wife Ellen Fagan who died 1928 age 86 years old so really nice headstones and there you have chest tombs one beside the other and this old graveyard is very near the road just over there you have a, a roundabout and it's up on a hill so a very busy road and busy area and you can see how overgrown it is and there is no inscription on this I can't read it that one all the headstones are just you see how overgrown the area is all there near the road there's men working there today so that's what all the knives is today there yeah that old can't see anything in there really overgrown and those true chest tombs and it's hard to get names on these old chest tombs because there's lichen on them and there's there's a lot of wear on them from time so here we have a lovely grave here it's a cross with vines wrapping around it like that kind of a design and it's Colonel Frederick Miller who died in 1891 I'm sure if there's anything online we could try and find something maybe Linda Ball might have some information they helped the late president something Magistrate. Oh. Now it's very hard to read, but it says there the officers. Or is it the officers? It could be officers. Officers and men of the Royal Irish Constabulary. esteem which they held their late president magistrate I think it says and I'll just try and get in and read a bit more there if I can I think that's all it says there it's just said about the magistrate erected by the erected by the magistrates petty petty is that sessions Clerks and officers and men of the Royal Irish Constabulary. So it's it's obviously I think a, a military something got to do with the military. So we'll go around and see what else we can see. That's an interesting one there. And the place is very, very overgrown. Very overgrown. Now, if I can get down in there and read some of those, I will. But I just have to be careful going in there because it's very, very wild. And there's the church and the old door, and it's locked up today and every other day, I think, by the looks of it. And you can see the old windows in it there. very old church not sure how old it is but I'll have to look that up and this one is hard to read age 84 years old I think it's nine, 18 is it 18 maybe 90 something 8 it's hard to read it an old cross 
and there's loads of crosses now there's a lovely iron cross down here it's a celtic cross but it's iron it's not stone we've seen a lot of stone ones but never i've never seen an iron one before like this look at that beautiful cross and maybe on the other side there might be there might be some writing i think there's some writing on the bottom of it so i'll try and get down and see but there's the the front of it there isn't that beautiful celtic iron cross and i'm going to try and bring down some of this wild growth so i can read what's on it in loving memory of patrick dial who departed this life september 1900 aged I'm not sure guys is that a 7 I think it looks like a 2 or a 7 24 could be 24 years old beautiful Celtic cross never seen an iron one like that before so um, I'm going to go down further Now I have photographs of this church I took, so I'll put those up as well. Now there's, there's a memorial plaques inside the church from what I gather from looking online about it. But um, with photographs and find a grave, but I can't get into the church, it's locked up. And there's just three, bla or there's three black crosses here. Sarah Furlong died 1952, age 77. John died in 1954, age 77. And James died in 1920, age 13 years old. And these are all the Furlong family. You can see there's another one just there. John Furlong died in February 1918, age 88 years old. And Margaret died in 1915, age 28 years old. Rest in peace. And more Furlong family. John Furlong, who died October 1930, age 27. Also his daughter Bridget, who died in 1929, age 3 months. So how sad is that, guys? So Bridget, his daughter, died in 1929, age only three months old. And her father died only a year later, age 27 years old. So I wonder, did he die broken hearted maybe after his three month old daughter died a year later? Very sad, interesting. To know what happened there. So look at all that wild growth. This is the back of the church in the graveyard. And that's the busy roundabout and road I was talking about. So it's very, very dear. The busy road. And high up in a hill this graveyard is in church. But this is up to my knees, guys, so I can't go any further. But there's a plaque on the wall I want to show you if I can zoom in. And it says, this window is erected by friends in memory of the late. Captain C.H. I think Fitzgerald, 4th Dragoon Guards, who fell in France during the Battle of The, that could be a something S N E, the thirteenth and the ninth, nineteen fourteen. King's Royal Rifle Corps, who fell in France near San. Under that Quinton or. 
there's letters are missing off the plaque. But I will screenshot that or maybe try and see can I read it better and maybe Linda could look up online what that's about. That's very interesting. A battle in France in 1914. So there's an old grave just there and it's broken too down the side of the hill and another one just here and I'm going to walk over and see how I get on and this one seems to be held up with those iron bars there it's not possible to read I have to be very careful in here guys because it is extremely overgrown and I don't know where I could step here so we've read those ones just there in the sad grave of the three month old girl and the father that died a year later so I'm going to try and make my way down this hill now there's somebody living next door to the graveyard so we'll try slowly go down this direction and you can see what I'm talking about there with all the headstones and how this place has just overgrown so much and just hasn't been looked after in years but this one is readable Loving memory of Daniel Barry, I think, isn't it? Or Barry, Barry, a headspec, died 1892, age 56 years old. Also, his wife Mary died in 1904, age 67. Also, and his daughter Margaret died in 1894, age 23 years old. And their son, John, died in 1943, aged 63 years old. Two headstones there beside it. Very difficult to read. So we'll try and read whatever we can, guys, because it's in a very old graveyard. And it's very interesting to... I'd love to get in there and see all those. You can see an obelisk, one right there in the middle. And there's just no way of getting access in to read that because it's too wild. And there's another one here, Nicholas Berry again. Another Berry. Died in May 1919. And his wife Mary died in 1948. And there's a beautiful headstone in here if I can get in closer and show you. I'll try. Look at this headstone. And there's a design on it in the middle. Look at that. It's like an angel or I'm not sure what that is. A woman's face on it. Beautiful design though. And if you hear an ouch it's probably a thorn sticking in me or something. And I just can't get into that one over there. It's, it's impossible, really. There's just too many thorns and bushes and wild. Now I can see a name on it. I'll try and zoom in and show you a bit closer if I can. You can see it there, obelisk monument and there's a name on it Clifford is the name that's on that Clifford so there must be people buried in this graveyard as well from um, Johnstown Castle which is not far from here so I'm sure there's people from the castle interred here in the graveyard
And then I think that says Catherine on that. Catherine Furlong. And I can see an, an 1892 on it. Catherine Furlong. But look at that, how much it's... All these headstones are eaten up in the graveyard. And another one in behind there, the cross. And look how high the growth is. There must be loads more. There must be loads in there over the far side of the graveyard. There has to be. Here's a tomb type, is it? Yeah, it could have been a crypt. Or a crypt monument. With all the grass and the, the wild brambles. brambles and stuff growing on it. And there's an inscription on the side. And we'll read that now in a second. Just have a look around it first. You can see how they were made back in the 1800s. I'm sure this is 1800s. You can see how they made the inside with cement and brick to reinforce the inside and all the parts and sides have fallen apart here in it. And I want to read, if I can, the side of it. It says, here lies the body of Edward Cullen, Esquire. And it looks like aged, I know, it says, uh, last 25 years, Barrack Master, Barrack Master, of Wexford who departed this life April 1847 and I'm just trying to read the other side this is dedicated to in memory by his only son only and sorrowing child Catherine it looks like Elizabeth and they're very hard to read but I got to read some of it there now so that's some information about that old tomb. What a fine tomb it is. And it's just broken away on all the sides and been taken over here in this old graveyard. Now the pathway down along seems okay. But that's as far as you can really go in the graveyard. You can see there's a wall that just ends here. And all this area, all around there, there's just no access to get into the graveyard. And I'm sure there's some fine headstones and monuments in there, but just not possible to, to get in there. I can see across from the distance another grave. And uh, it's a pity that it's not looked after a bit better. But you know, this is what I do. I come across all these old graveyards and ones that are overgrown and not looked after for years and hope that somebody will see this video maybe and try to come together as a community or group and maybe fix it up. But look at the trees around it. It's haunting and beautiful at the same time, this graveyard. It really is. So I'm going to make my way back up, guys, because I can't go any further here. But there is the church in the distance, in the background. And look at that, isn't that beautiful church up on top, nestled up on top of the hillside, overlooking the busy roads. Absolutely stunning. And if I can find any pictures online, or 
anywhere online of the inside of the church I will surely put them up but uh, I'm not sure if there's going to be any because it's been abandoned for a long time but like everything else I'm sure there's a history attached to this graveyard and church especially when there's that big stone that was out the front of Cornelius Grogan who was executed on Wexford Bridge there's more iron crosses loving memory of Margaret Margaret Turner who died in January 1920 age 42 and a marble plaque below Lawrence Turner died in 1948 age 78 years old beloved husband father and grandfather a lot of iron crosses in the old graveyard And I don't think I've read this side yet, so we'll have a, a quick look over here and see can we read any headstones. Look at all the slab tombs here, all in the ground. Here like the body of Mrs. Anne Paul, it looks like. Mrs. Anne Paul, who departed this life, 1839, aged 75 years old. Very old. Isn't that beautiful railing? Look at the spikes on this railing. And it goes all around the grave. All around this grave here. Look at that fine railing, iron railings from the 1800s there's a name on this Selina Mary died February 1870 and there's a saying on it therefore have sorrow but see you again and your heart rejoice and your joy no man has heart reap the ivy from you it's a verse from John a lovely headstone and a beautiful railing all around it overgrown again This one says erected by Lissy Martin of Wexford in memory of her husband Thomas Martin who departed this life 1876 age 85 years old. And look at this very big railing around this one. And it's impossible to read. Look at all the growth, twigs, trees. Stuff has just fallen over and taken over. Very, very big railing around it. And another tomb next door with a railing around that, but impossible to get to. Now these people, I'm sure all their families are no longer here to look after all these old graves that are overgrown and there should be a committee really that looks after the graveyard and stuff it's church of ireland so i'm not sure 
but whoever erected this stone should be really kind of looking into a tidy up in the area there's those lovely big black gates where we came into the graveyard and there's an old gate over there guys and I'm not sure what that is or where it leads but we will go in there and have a look and then explore the area it's a wooded forest kind of area in there so we'll definitely go in and have a look in there as well so let's go in and look inside there's a headstone either side as you enter this gate Catherine Catherine Lear now there could be a letter missing off it who died 1898 aged 78 years old and you have this lovely brick sides to this gate entrance a really old gate and mysterious looking area that's not part of the graveyard so I wonder why the gate was there so what do you think Serenity Sue? We'll have a look. We'll have an investigation in here, will we? Right. Let's have a look. You go first. <laughs> Maybe it was an old entrance this, from the castle? It could be an old entrance that led from the castle. But it's all trees. A wooded area. Very mystique looking. That's cool, isn't it? Very, it is cool, yeah. Look at all that. Oh. Look at all those windy trees falling over sideways and different ways. I can just see that the boundary wall of the graveyard is now, actually there. The boundary wall of the graveyard is just over there. I wonder would so you be able to access the other side of the graveyard from there? You, I'm just going to have a look Maybe. and see where it leads because like the old gate there that comes in here, it was obviously used for some purpose this area when the gate was there now whether it's part of the graveyard or not I don't know but it's just a wooded area and I don't see any headstones in here in this area but this is so enchanted looking isn't it Go up near the wall there and just it's like um must be the church or the graveyard there that side now there is a path there is a path now not very visible but no, I don't think it goes you can see where it goes an old bucket an old bucket and trees and overgrowth and we're just going to go around and see how far we can go that's the wall any is it that's the wall of the graveyard there you can see it there in front of us that's where we were now we couldn't get in there to read because that's all the overgrowth growth is in that graveyard uh, and uh, what's that there it's like another <laughs> trying to make my way guys in and around see that? it's like it was an old game there's a hole here in the wall at the bottom of it and it's just different looking it's different looking to the rest of the wall you see this hole here and this is the the wall of the graveyard and say we're on the other side of the graveyard in the wooded area and it's just this hole but it's like there's a wall see the way it comes out and like a pier there's a, a wall here yeah like a pier so would there have been a gate there maybe originally so there definitely was something here before it's like an arch like it's not and an arch of some kind this was a tunnel or something was it from the castle maybe i don't know but this graveyard is there over behind that wall is the graveyard so i don't know what that was or what was it used for it's cool, though. It's cool to see yeah because i never anything like that you know you kind of you'd be i have to look at it and see what it is because
Now, I can't go that way because there's trees and everything there. It does seem to be like it's warm. There might be another path. path there, maybe? maybe around the other side. There is a path here, guys, so I'm going to try and come this way instead. It's a wild goose chase <laughs> today. And you can, you can see, yeah, there's definitely a pathway made. Like, I don't know, as people walking up and down here, why there's no growth. These are all the And it goes up between them. Now there's a wall there. And look at And there's a crack in the wall. Look at that, that guy's. looks like that was a gate or a part of the pier or something, maybe. That's behind. That wall is adjoining the graveyard mm. and there's a big gap in that wall with brick. And so the tree, look at the tree coming out of the wall. And the tree is growing out of the wall. So I have to go up there and see what this is. And there's the tree. There's that gap I was talking about. And look at the way the tree comes down on top of the wall. Like it's rested on top of that wall there. I'm definitely going to have to see what's in this. Look at this crack in the wall here. And there's a piece of timber, or stone, sorry, that is, that's going across. Almost like a lintel. A lintel you'd see on a, a window in a house. And the tree goes all the way down along, resting. But look at the shape of it. The shape oh, of it. The shape of it is going down it's this bad. way. And it goes down slant on the other side. Now, it could be, it looks like a crypt. I doubt it was in here. It looks like a crypt. It. Holy cow. Huh? Guys, it's a crypt. No way. It's a crypt. On this side. And it looks like the door has been, the door looks new. And there's a big bar behind the door. So it looks like it was, a couple of years ago it could be now but that that can't be seen from inside the graveyard because of all the overgrowth but i'm on the far side of the graveyard wall in the woods in the wooded area there's three coffins i can see in here guys now i'm going to take i'm going to take the phone off the gimbal i think and maybe try and see look at that coffins And look at the handles on this one. They're all... Like leather on the top of them with tacks on it. They're placed on, definitely placed on, you know, they're levered up. Wow. Three coffins, there's one over the other side. We'll have a look at that in a minute. But look at the handles on that coffin. I'm going to see, can I zoom in? Let's see, can I zoom in there and focus it? You can see the handle of the coffin, look at that. Yeah, look. And it's trying to focus. Look at the handle on that coffin. And it's stud lined. The top of the coffin is all studs. The coffin is very, um, it's all bricked inside. There's something on top of that coffin there. See it? There where the camera is now. Yeah, it's a design. Yeah. Like a mini miniature kind of studded. The studs, but they're miniature ones. But they're in a kind of a shape or design. And the coffins are very close together. But there's the door. You can see the door the way the bar is going across it. Wow. Looks like it was locked from the inside. A crypt inside in a wooded area and just see can i see I anything the phone off the gimbal, i'm going to take the phone off the gimbal guys and have a better look so hold on 
and just over there guys on the left is a t smaller coffin beside that one and it looks like it's a child's coffin it's definitely a child's coffin the smaller one and there's the big one beside that with all the stud line on it this one here so that's three and then there's this one is different to them all it's black coffin with handles so there's four coffins three large coffins and one small like a child's coffin maybe in this crypt all together look the handles on it and there's the child's one over there look at that it's amazing all the brick and the old door is there there's the original door the original door of the crypt is there do you see that black timber that's the door that was replaced but there's on the right hand side is the old door and it's all that brick in there in the crypt look at that coffins four coffins three large coffins and a child's coffin now it's either a child or maybe a teenager that kind of an age but it's definitely a child there's the door look metal bar going across it and the old door standing up beside it uh, that was it was replaced red brick and coffins so guys what an amazing find as you can see it here in front of me a crypt an old crypt in the woods what an amazing find so I'm going to make my way back out through all this stuff that was crazy look, look at the growth in here an old crypt in the woods with coffins in it so we're going to it's like the Amazon here it's so wild and I'm wondering is that crypt belong to the name that we saw Cornelius Grogan who was executed on Wexford Bridge It'd be so interesting to find out now I can't see any names I even even on those coffins I can't see any names like the sh sometimes you see a plate a metal plate on the lid of the coffin and you'll see a name but I couldn't see any name well, what a, an interesting find in this area all that wooded area look who would ever think there was a crypt off down there so I'm going back out where we start and come in, in this amazing woods I hope you can still hear me because I had to take my mic off to get a closer look at that crypt. Just through the, through the trees. Look at that. There's the old church and graveyard. But off down far deep into those woods we found a crypt. So guys, from me here in Rahetsbeck Old Graveyard and Church, I'm going to say goodbye and we'll leave it there and just close this old gate. And say goodbye from Wexford. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the notification bell, and like the video, guys. Another amazing trip, and another amazing find today. Take care, and God bless.